Hello my Funatics, it's Fufu here. Today we're going to be playing some OU and I decided to run some hyper offense, which is not a thing that I'm very used to or particularly good at, but it should be fun because I've gone bird spam, which is not something you see as often anymore. Um, so yeah, we've got B though, which is a banded talent flame which is kind of standard then we've got a lead sash a self to get the rocks torn and do something else hopefully julie which is my starmy this thing is there purely for the spin but also it's really really good in terms of just hitting teams it's really nice ice beam uh, hits a lot of things that i wanted to hit so that's nice we've got keldeo d just a, a choice specs keldeo to hit things really hard, like really hard. And then we got Bird though again uh, for the birdness. And finally, Bishmonger, the Bishop, uh, because this guy, like, I mean, with the team, it kind of. I get rocks up, they might want to defog. I can get my Defiant, do stuff with this guy. Should be fun! So that is the team. Let's get into a battle. We found a battle against one Poi, poi Wag. Because that is not an L, that is an I. I guess this is a, he's got poly... Oh no, he probably doesn't have polywag. Anyways, that's a team. He set the timer. I think he's going to... If this is fake out lead, I would be very surprised. So I'm going to lead with B-Self to try and get the rocks up. His chomp will be the rocker for sure. It's not going to be Scar. So he's going to go with the Mian Chao. I am going to just go straight for rocks and I will outspeed it. So it's just going to go for the Scarf U-turn right now. It's definitely just going to go straight for rocks. And if he wants to bring in Scizor, that is fine. I can try to get off a... No. Okay. So he's banded me in chat. No, life orb me in chat. Good knowledge. As I can, yeah, get my rocks. And then he's likely going to go into Scizor. If he does that, I'll fire blast you. If not, I'm going to explode on anything else. Yeah, he... It's an odd team. It's an odd team. So he's going to go into Rotom Wash. I am just going to explode on that. And bring it. it he's letting me get damage on his Rotom? Like, what? Really? That's a thing. You, you're you facing a bird. Okay, he's, he's Scarf Rotom. That's good knowledge. So he's Scarf Rotom. That's really good for me, actually, because it means that my birds will probably be able to dent it a lot easier. His team is really fast. Really fast. Um, but yeah, hopefully I should be able to dent that Rotom quite quickly. And he's brought in the Mean Chow, which is an interesting choice, really, because I can just go into my bird and go for a Brave Bird on this guy. He doesn't seem to have Defog unless this is a Mega Sizzle, which it could well be. I'm kind of expecting Mega Alakazam, though, to be honest. I don't know why, just I'm feeling Mega Alakazam. Uh, so... Yeah, I think that's the best play. Unless I go into Starmie. But I don't want to have to risk a Hydro. I don't have Sight Off on this one, which is a bit unfortunate. Or I could go into Keldeo, actually. Keldeo's probably a good play. Uh, I'll just get the Cal Cup to s make sure that um, Specs, Keldeo, Scold kills me and Shao. I mean, it will do, but I'm just making sure. It probably will do. Uh, Scold is definitely a KO. That's maybe a play that I want to do. That is maybe a play that I want to do. Rotom will not appreciate this. But then, maybe I want to go for Secret Sword. Because that is definitely a KO. And it will hurt Rotom a lot more. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll go into Keldeo and go for a Secret Sword. Yeah, I think that's a plan. I think that is a plan. He might be like a bulky Trick Scarf Rotom, which would be odd. But it is a thing he could be. But this way, it means that he can't go into the, the Porygon. He doesn't really have a switch in on this right now. If I was Scarf, if I was Scarf right now, I wouldn't KO this. But <laughs> it would be a big scary threat. So I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting that he's got the Moon Shell. And it's Regenerator, not Reckless. So that's good to know. I hope he keeps it around because actually it's probably quite an easy SD with my pincer. Unless he's got Stone Edge. Okay, he goes into the Rotom. This should... Oh, just take it out. Oh my god. Is that his bird check gone? Is that his bird check just gone? Oh my lord. If he brings in Alakazam, slightly tempted to stay in. Probably shouldn't because he's got the Paragon 2 and Spec's Secret Sword really messes that up. Uh, yeah. So I'll probably... I know, I probably will switch out. Yeah. 
If I can keep enough offensive pressure on, he's not going to be able to get rocks up. On the other hand, Bishop isn't looking... Oh no, Bishop is looking alright. It's looking alright against the team. Yeah. Hmm. He'll have to think though, because that was, that was a really risky play. Okay, he does go into Zam. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into Bishop. I'm gonna go into Bishop. He might predict that, but that's okay if he does. I'm really thinking this is Mega. I don't know why. I just feel like it's gonna be Mega. He could sub right now, but that's alright. Sub disable would be really cool. I want to see that. Like sub and then disable on a sucker punch. That will be ultimate swag points. Yeah, he is Mega. I called it, and he goes for the psychic, which is really nice. Um, so I. I, uh, I really, I really want to predict the switch. I really want to predict the switch, but this guy seems like the kind of guy to stay in a focus blast. He really does seem like the guy to stay in a focus blast. Ah, uh, it doesn't even matter though, because as soon as, if this dies, I can just bring in a bird. So I'm gonna knock off. Might not be the best of ideas, but that's what I'm gonna do. So, Alakazam will be taking rocks damage from now on. He does stay in! I knew that he would stay in! I knew that he would stay in! Ah, it does annoy me. But we can go into bird though. Uh, I'm just going to see... What was I going to see? Yeah, how much quick attack does. Uh, I want to make sure that plus two quick attack... Plus two quick attack will kill Mega's Alakazam. I don't need to calc this. I'm going a bit calc crazy anymore. So yeah, we can just click Brave Bird right now. And the thing that my... Pincer probably wants to SD on is gonna be that sizzle. I think that Pincer wants to SD on sizzle. Maybe not actually, because they'll have to take damage and then it's going for bullet punch quick attack. Plus two quick attack won't kill sizzle. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably gonna be. Me and Shao will have knockoff, high jump kick. Okay, he's going to chomp. This should do a KO, but he might have like a blocky helmet, rough skin. No, he doesn't. He's just got a rough skin. So I can Brave Bird again. Yeah, Bird Spam is powerful. Really powerful. And then he'll mm, probably have to go into Progon after that to kill me. Is this worth keeping around for for the Alakazam? Maybe. He's. I can sack Starmie now because I'm, I don't... Um, yeah, I can sack Starmie because I don't need to spin anymore. So that's good. He's going to P2, yeah, I think I'm going to stack Starmie. Yeah, and then get free switch into Keldeo to Secret Sword something. I think that's a good play. Yeah, I think that's a very good play. This isn't going too badly. Hyper Offense is really, really risky. Okay, he, he just goes for T-Ball because it is super effective against everything on my team now. <laughs> that was an interesting, interesting turn of events. Let's go into Keldeo and go for Secret Sword. If he lets me get damage on the Alakazam, that's great. I should do a load of damage to the Alakazam. Like, so much damage. But I do need more damage on the Porygon. Really need more damage on that. Uh, yeah. If he lets me get damage on the Porygon, I think I win. I think I win. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. But he might make the play to go into Alakazam. No, he goes into me and Shao, and that will die. Yeah, that just dies. So now he can go into Alakazam freely. That was a good play. That was a good play, because it means that his Porygon's still healthy, and he can get a free switch into his Alakazam. But that means that I can then bring in the bird and do some things. It's just Mega Pincer has to do quite a lot at the end. That's the issue. Uh, let's see how much Mega Pincer's Quick Attack does do to Alakazam. Alakazam! Quick attack, yes. So I need to get more damage on that. Um, I need to stay in here, I can't switch out. So I will just stay in and do that. And then go into my Talon Flame. Uh, yeah, I had to do that. Now I have to go into my Talon Flame. And I believe after Brave Bird. If he stacks this, I win. If he goes into Sizzle, that's again probably the best play because he needs his Alakazam and he needs his Polygon. Those are the things he needs. So, yes. Oh, he lets his Alakazam die! Oh no! That was not the play! Yes! It's a Ow! Ow! God damn it, you fucked up! 
That wasn't the play. Not at all. Not at all. I don't know why he did that. That was odd. So now I'm going to sizzle that could pro ah, I see though, because that, this can probably kill. Depends what he kills with though. If he goes for the U-turn. Oh no, I can I can hopefully kill myself with recoil now, so that I'm left in on the scissor. Yeah, I can. And then he's going for bullet punch. Right, let's see how much banded bullet punch does to Mega Scissor. Um to Mega Pincer, sorry. Scissor Oh, you choice band, bullet punch. Ah, oh, it's a two bit KO. No. Okay, so I just have to go in. Oh, wait. That's fine. That's fine because I can CC, but how much does. Does a plus two close combat take out down a Porygon 2 or not? Because if not, then there's no point. Uh, oh, it might do. What's he at? What's he at? Um, 88, so he'll be at 76. Yeah, so it will do. So I just need to go into Pincer, CC, Quick Attack, Close Combat, I think that does it. Yeah, I think that does it. Ooh, this one was a close one! Bird though, oh, I didn't have the exclamation mark, god damn it! Yeah, this better do it. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, that's a max defense Paragon, and I should be able to SD and take it out. Bullet punch. Yeah, that does 54%, which is as much as the calc said it would do. Now I can quick attack, take that out, and take it the uh, take the Porygon out with a close combat, because that does do more than return. Yeah. Huh. This is jolly. Yeah, mine's jolly. Okay, I just need to make sure that I get the calc right. Okay, yeah. Pincer dies. Good. Porygon comes in. Porygon dies to a close combat. I think I've got this. Ugh. Ugh. I think I had that anyway. Like, if, if he had... Mm, yeah. His best play would have been to sack the... Yeah, sack the pincer to the talon flame. But then Porygon would have had to take damage. No, I don't think... I, yeah, I don't... And I think this one was... This one could have gone a few ways, and I think I could have won in a few different ways. Because I'd have to hope that pincer lived... Uh, Oh shoot! He got he got aerial eight. He could have gotten for the aerial eight try attack. That would have been hilarious. Anyway, yeah, that was a good battle. The team worked. GG, GG. Yeah, the team worked. Uh, I'll try and get another one. This was probably going to be quite a quick session because hyper offense, and I don't actually have that much time either. I'm going out for a meal in a sec. So let's try and get another battle. Okay, so we've got another battle. This one is a scary team. I need to be careful of that T-Tar. Likely a Scarf T-Tar looking at his team structure, um, which could be a problem in terms of getting my lead stuff off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm slightly tempted to lead with Keldeo. Because he's got the T-Tar that will probably just want to come in and set up sand. Maybe. No, I'm going to leave the base off. Let's not, let's not depart from the formula. There is a formula that I am meant to be following. Let's stick with that. Ugh. But yeah, Scarf T-Tar is a bit of a problem. Yeah, he does lead with T-Tar. It will be good knowledge to know if he is Scarf or not. Do I outspeed Scarf anyway? No, I do not. Not if he's jolly. If he's adamant scarf, I outspeed. Not if he's jolly. Hmm. Do you have rocks? Ah, oh, this is so annoying. No, he's got Pharaoh. Oh, is this thing gonna have rocks? I've got the spin. I'm gonna set up my own rocks. Because I think he's gonna be scarf, and I think he's gonna take me down to my sash. <clears throat> oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think taunting is a play here. I do not think. Yeah, he's scarf. He is scarf. I called it. I called it. Like most T-Tars at the moment are Scar, from what I've been playing. So now he's locked himself into Crunch. Uh, what I could do is get a sneaky SD off with... No, I can't, I can't do that. I want to go into this guy and SD, but there's absolutely no point because he's got this guy right now he could come in with. Uh, what I'd really like to do is go into Keldeo, but Latios could definitely be coming in on the Super Sword. He doesn't really have many other switches on the Super Sword. So I think I'll go into Keldeo and then switch straight into Bisharp. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a Keldeo of his own. Hmm. Oh. 
Uh, is Keldia the play or is Bish... No, no. Is, as in like, is, is Secret Swording the play or is Straight to Bishoping the play? I think Straight to Bishoping is a play. Yeah, I think that's the play. So, let's go into Bishop right now. I'm not really... Well, the only issue would be if he goes into Zard right here, which is something that he could do. But I don't think he will, because no, he'd take rock, he'd die, he'd die. He's definitely going to go into Latios right now. So I think this is the play to make. I think this is definitely the play to make. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think he can do any other move other than going to Latios right here. If he does go into Zard, I'll be so pissed. No, he can't go into Zard, he can't, he can't. He has to go into Latios right here. Um... And then I can just go straight for a knockoff. And he'll bring in his Keldeo most likely. Um, and with that, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to Because he'll be going for the water move. He could go into Starmie, but Starmie's really important. He goes into the drill. Of course he goes into the drill. Why well, did not see that coming? Now... Now, is he gonna spin or is he gonna? I, I didn't even. I don't think this has spin. I don't think this has spin. Does that have spin? Does that have spin? Do you have spin? You got a Latio. This is a Scarfer. No, he's got a Scarfer. What the hell was that play? What was that play? What was that play? I don't understand. I'm so confused right now. Oh, this is not a good situation to be in. This is a really bad situation to be in. That was not a play. In no world was that a play. That was not a play. Ah. I don't have... Yeah, because it's hyper offense, I don't have a switch. So I'm just going to go straight for a low kick. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a play to make. I don't understand what he just did. Like, why did he make this odd... odd why did I make that odd, odd play? That was not a play either. Because he's got the rock slide. Hmm. No, I, I could go into Keldio and play around a bit. Yeah, I have to go into Keldio right here. Oh, what the hell was that? I could have just killed his Excadrill. I would have slayed it. It would have been dead, dead, dead. He must have... Did he predict me? I don't think he predicted me. That was so odd. I, he was probably just wanting the free switch into Latios, to be honest, to get the defog. No, why would he do that? Why Why would he do that? That was such a bad play in my opinion. So he does actually have a spin. I could have killed him then. Damn it. So now we can go into bird. And yeah, we can do that. As is an earthquake. Fine, fine. Now I'm gonna U-turn. Because it's not a scary, scary drill anymore. That was so bad. So what do I need? to uh, what do i need to weaken to get a sweep i really need to we it's the it's the t-tar and i can't let stan be up and that's really all i need so i need to yeah i need to weaken t-tar and not let sand be up so hopefully he's going to t-tar now okay he's going to latios now which eats a nice i don't think i don't think i think this is probably an rmt because it's a really good team but he's playing it very strangely really strangely um, so Latios is here. We can go into Starmie and go for the Ice Beam. Or Keldeo can probably take it out. No, Keldeo doesn't have speed. Or I could just get the Mega Rock. No, I don't want to get the Mega Rock because it rocks. Let's go into Starmie, go for an Ice Beam. I think that's the play. We might go into T-Tar. T-Tar can be a... Yeah, T-Tar is a big problem. I need to really weaken that. I don't understand the plays he's making. Like... That was that was not the play to make. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it is his team. It doesn't. It looks scary, but it's got a massive fighting weakness. A huge fighting weakness, sort of. I wonder what Zard it is. Is it a double weather team? Hmm. It doesn't really look like it. Or maybe it does. I just I haven't been playing for a while. <laughs> Go, Julie. Take down this Latios. And he's going into the Pharaoh now. So I'm. I think 
I'm gonna go straight into Keldio and get a secret sword off because he went into the drill last time. Why did he go into the drill? That was his spinner as well. I don't understand. He doesn't have a switching on this now. Oh, he does. He's got Zard because it freaking no rocks. As he gets up his own rocks, yeah, I, I need to get my stamina, but I didn't want to do spinning wars on this. That would have been a silly play to make. I, I did just expect him not to have the power whip right there. That was a very, very <laughs> blasé switch that, yeah, could have definitely not worked out for me. Okay, so that's fine. We take down that thing. Um, I, w I want this. I want this healthy for the T-Tar. It goes into Latios, which does outspeed me. Um, and he's probably dropping a Draco, or he might go for a side shot. Side shock is not the play, but I think he's gonna go for a side shot. This is really hard in both games. That I've been having to try and predict players, bad players, like trying to not have players that aren't making optimal plays. <laughs> Starmy, okay, uh, and Latios. Um, um, if he goes for the Draco, then that's a very good play. I think I'm going to predict him to go for the side shots though, but he should go for the Draco. Uh, he might go for the Roost. Ice Beam does not do too much. He goes for the side shot, yeah, that's, it's just not the play. It isn't, okay, is that Scarf as well? Is that Scarf as well? Oh no, I bet, I bet that's... Assault vest. Okay, I'm trying to gauge gauge what kind of a player it is. We're gonna get rid of these rocks, hopefully, um, so I won't have to worry about rocks at all after that. Yeah, he's scarf. He's scarf. He's so scarf. <sighs> um, Starmy could be used. No, it's. I mean, the sand's gonna be around and it's gonna be a thing. So let's just sack this. And then, uh, what do I want to do? He's got two Scarfers. This team is so weird. I thought it was, it looked like a really spooky team, but mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now do I go into bird and go for a quick attack? I think that's the play. t could be coming in. I could go for a cheeky CC, but I think he's gonna. No, he's gonna. Is he gonna start with Kiss Latios? I think he is. What a what an odd team. What an odd team. Or do I go for an S? No, I don't go for an SD because this thing is too too uh, healthy. Yeah, T Tar is too healthy. <clears throat> T Tar, why you do this? So it's actually Latios Scarf. Latios Choice Scarf. Um, I don't, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know. I know Quick Attack. Here. What was I looking at? How much does Slice Shot do? About 50. Tyranitar. Choice Scarf. How much does Quick Attack do at plus 2? Like, it's not worth it. It's a 26%. That's not worth it. I'm best just Quick Attacking right now, not SDing. Not SD. So I'll do that, and then if he goes into Tita, okay, it's, it goes into Zard. Mm, that was not a play, Mister. Unless it's a Scarf Charizard. If this is Scarf Charizard, I will be very upset. I will be very upset if I'm facing a Scarf Charizard right now. <laughs> oh, good, good. It's not a Scarf Charizard. Good. Oh jeez. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so I think he'll go into Tita. He has to go into Tita. Yeah, he has to go into Tita. Mmm, this is tricky. This thing can just win. This thing can just win. He's gonna go for a rock move. Can Keldio can take it, can't he? He's gonna go into Keldio. He's gonna go for a rock move. He might miss. He might miss. He might miss. No, he didn't. Okay, I can take that, but I can't really take another one, so I have to hope he just stays in here. I'm gonna go for a secret sword. Ah, this is tricky. This is tricky. 
If he goes into Keldeo, I'm switching out into Pinsir, expecting the Fighting Titan. If he does go into Keldeo, yeah, he's going to go for Fighting Titan. Ah, uh, he's not going to go for the sub, are you? You're just going to go for a Secret Sword, aren't you? You are. Yeah, I know you're going to go for a Secret Sword. I know you're going to go for a Secret Sword. I know you are! I know it, I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, you are. Good. So, we'll go for another quick attack. He might preserve this. No, the play here is close combat. The play here is close combat. The play here is close combat. If he brings in either Excadrill or Tita, that is fan-bloody-tastic. Oh my god! The misplays are real! Oh. <laughs> ah! Ah! No! No! Get me! <laughs> John, you gotta get me! No! John! John! No! 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 John! Get me! Get oh my god! Oh my god! That was not the play! That was just so not the play! <laughs> uh, predictions on point, yes. Right, now we just have to wear down the sand and Pinsir wins, so... I don't need Keldeo anymore. I don't need Keldeo anymore. Yeah! Boy! <laughs> the birds! The birds are back! The bird. Oh, he doesn't even kill me! Oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> Keldeo might win, no, it won't win. Scald! Too many scarfers, but the birds just eat the scarves. They love scarves. Eat them for dinner. I love Mega Pinsir. I've had an uh, I've had an adoration for Mega Pinsir. Oh, and there's a forfeit. No. Uh, at least he was good enough to know that he had lost. So yeah, that is that is the birds fun team. I love Mega Pinsir. I love Mega Pinsir since the D League times when it just. Just, it's too powerful. It's so good. I love Mega Pinsir. I'm so glad that I managed to make a bird spam team. That's all I have time for right now because I am going out for food with some friends, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Bye.